that's nearly as hard as chasing UFOs is moving hay bales around a farm to feed cattle. Farmers spend a lot of time lifting these big heavy bales up onto things and using a tractor to move them around and then unloading them. Well how's this for a simpler way? Large round hay bales are a hassle to move around and are likely to ruin your pastures. So we invented a cheap and easy means to get the hay to the herd. The universal hay trailer is a feeder and a hay transporter all in one. To load the bale, simply attach the hook to the far side of the hay and up in the trailer over it. You then connect the hook chain and push down on the drawbar. The trailer attaches to a standard tow bar. It can be taken anywhere on the farm without the need of a tractor. Once in position, the trailer is left to serve as an off-ground feed ring which prevents rising moisture from damaging the hay and protects the pasture beneath the bale. Also, the bale can be moved by hand around the paddock to regulate feeding. Because cows too deserve Meals on Wheels. Please welcome from Tongala, about 200 kilometres north of Melbourne, Stephen and Kayleen Males. Hi Kayleen. Hi, Stephen. There you go. Now, if you've got some cattle, but you're not big enough to have a tractor, moving big bales like this, it's, that's the problem, isn't it? Mm hmm And that's why you thought of this. Now, who th who, which one thought of it? Not it together. was me. It was yeah. you, definitely? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. And the thing is, you, you can move the bale round on this. It also acts as a feeder. You don't have to take it off again. Mm -hmm. They just eat off it. And often, how, you lose the bottom of the bale normally, don't you? You lose about it, six inches. Because it gets all soggy in there. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, it's just yuck, yeah. It's just yuck? Yeah, yeah. yeah I wouldn't touch it. Yeah. All right, now, um, I'm, can I have a go? Because we've seen you do it, but you guys are experts. But um, if I can do it, so you just sort of bring it Push up it here. Push it right in. Yeah, and then pick it up. Yep. And can you go round and sort of load the yep. hook on? Yep. There we go. And then you just throw that hook in. Throw the hook in. Oh, yeah. And you can do it, one person could do it, right? Yeah. Yeah, one person or two television hosts. <laughs> and then it's simply a matter of, um, of standing it up, right? Yep. And that, I mean, it feels like, it feels really, and it sort of stops halfway down so nothing bad can happen. And then you just put it down and then you can sort of push it around to wherever you like. Is yep. that right? Yep. I yep. mean, it feels, you know, it's, that's what, that's 350 yeah. kilograms, isn't it? Yeah. But um, you can sort of push it quite easily. Come and, come and sit down. Um, <laughs> how much would you sell them for? Uh, 2100. 2100? Yeah. Just over 2000? Yeah. Mm. All right, uh, Benny, what do you reckon? What about it getting bogged in, uh, in soggy uh, sort of country and, and when all the cattle are munching around there eating it? Is well, there... that's the whole idea of the trailer. You can actually move it. With a hay ring, you, once you put the roll in, uh, you can't move it. Yep. Mm. With our, our idea, with our trailer, you can move it uh, every couple stone. of days, oh. and then you can clean the area that's the, the boggy area or whatever. And uh, yeah. Okay, uh, Alison. Your first prototype was built from um, parts in the shed. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. And how has yeah. the design changed very much since then? Oh, it, heaps. It has. Yeah. 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 The, that was uh, square. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. 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 And so you use the the round profile to actually help lift it better. It does work yeah. better than the square. Chris? What you've really attacked here is the two critical issues, which is reduction of wastage during feeding and transportability, especially for a hobby farmer who doesn't have a tractor and all sorts of fancy hydraulic and gear. Safety. And safety. Absolutely. Yeah. So I think you've, you've done it very simply and very cleverly. How many animals do you think would actually you could put this in a paddock with to feed? Well, on the film we had, what, 12 cows around mm. it and there was still plenty of room. Mm. So. so you probably could have, you know, 20 or 30 yep. maybe. Yeah, around, around the 20, yeah. I'd say. And, and what about the 20? Or, and obviously if you've got net wrap wrapping the bale up, they often use that netting rather than yep. the rope, the string. Do you normally cut the string? You certainly have to cut the net wrap, I imagine, before you left it for the yeah. animals. Yeah, you normally, yep. you normally take the string off as well as, uh, as the mesh. Because yeah. right. cows eat that. Summing up, uh, Benny? Look, you've tackled all the problems in, with one nice solution. You can't ask for more than that. Alison? 
Yeah, the old hay cart's had a bit of a makeover, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah. um, and, you know, and it, it sort of works a bit like a wheelbarrow, a giant wheelbarrow, and you yeah. make it look that easy too, which is fantastic. Mm. Chris? No, I, I think with a number of, of people going to the bush on these small farms who've got no way of doing this, I think that's this is a terrific idea. I think you've done very well, so congratulations. Thank well you. done. Please thank Stephen and Kayleen Mayer. Thank you, Kayleen. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I, I tell you what, the, the two that were tied for me on all aspects except originality was the hay trailer and the wombat. But on pure originality, I'm going to go for the hay trailer. That's going to sneak it ahead. And special round of applause for the stars, the inventors. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.